imagine about such a man who can prove to uh, wrong to even Sir Albert Einstein, the greatest physicist of the world? Yeah, there exists one Indian. Actually, in 1928, what happened? That one Indian graduate student named Subramaniam Chandrasekhar went to foreign to England to study at Cambridge, and there he worked un under Sir Arthur Eddington, who was an expert over the general theory of relativity, which is really very great thing because to become expert over general theory of relativity, a field of study, to whom only three persons could understand when it was. Uh, uh, it came, so that is really great thing. And then Chandrasekhar discovered a very important and a very beautiful thing, that there are certain stars, there are cold stars. If they have masses of certain limit more than our sun, so there are such kinds of even stars who will collapse under their own gravity and then they can become white dwarfs. And if they collapse more and more, finally what will happen that the stars may become neutron stars, they are one kind of final stage of the stars. and then you may call that when the stars become neutron stars in a very less, they are very much dense, they are very much nearly infinite dense and they are so much dense in a very little volume, the radius is also very less in just some kinds of meals but their mass is the same as the previous one so gravity becomes very strong and then they may even become black holes. But on this Sir Arthur Eddington was very much shocked and he refused to accept this. And then even Sir Albert Einstein wrote a paper against this research that this is not possible. But do you know what? That actually in 1983 Subramaniam Chandrasekhar got Nobel Prize for his this discovery over Chandrasekhar limit. So this is finally proved that there was even a man who proved Sir Albert Einstein wrong.